Now that the Treasurer has refused to deny that petrol will be included in the government's uh, carbon tax, can the Prime Minister confirm that a $26 per tonne carbon tax would add at least 6.5 cents a litre to the price of petrol? Prime Minister. This is an attempt to mislead the Australian people, Mr Speaker, and we will hear more of it from the opposition. Order. An attempt to mislead. Shameless and the attempt to mislead. They Koo believe Yong in the born. politics of fear and this is how they deal with the politics of fear. Well, let me answer the uh, uh, leader of the National Party's question. What we have announced today, and I'd ask the people on the uh, opposite side who clearly haven't read it uh, to do so, what we have announced today is a carbon pricing mechanism to start on 1 July 2012. What we have also made clear today is that there is further policy work to do and we will be announcing as that further policy work is done. What the, deputy, what the Leader of the National Party well knows is Member we have Dawson. not announced a carbon price today and in making up figures what he is trying to do is mislead the Australian people. There has been no greater betrayal in recent Australian history. This is the greatest breach of faith with the Australian public since the LAW law fake tax cuts of, of, of another Labor Prime Minister, Mr Speaker, I say, I say through you to the Australian people, if the Australian public could not trust the Prime Minister on this, how can they ever in the future trust her on anything at all? This is the truth, Mr Speaker. We have a Prime Minister who simply cannot be trusted on anything at all. The promise, the promise. I, I, I hear. Just ask Kevin. <laughs> the promise, the promise, not to introduce a carbon tax, was actually the second most solemn pledge that this prime minister made in the course of the last election. The most solemn pledge, perhaps, was the pledge to the former prime minister. I'm with you, Kevin. I'm with you, Kevin. I back you all the way, Kevin. I even back you. I even back you on your emissions trading scheme until it all gets too hard, and I'll stab you on the back in that. I'll stab you on the back on the leadership, and I'll ultimately stab the Australian people in the back with this broken promise. Yeah. She ratted on Kevin Rudd, and now she's betrayed the Australian people. Shame, Shame on this prime minister. Shame on this prime minister. And and you know. She does feel some shame. We know she feels some shame. She wouldn't say the word tax, carbon tax. The Prime Minister wouldn't say the word tax uh, in her press conference, but the shame is starting to get to her because she just half admitted that it was going to be a tax, in effect a tax, she says. In effect a tax, in total reality, Prime Minister. A tax, a hit on the Australian people's standard of living. What is her justification for this assault on the cost of living of every Australian? This $300 a year hit on power prices, this six and a half cents a litre hit on petrol prices. What is her justification? Oh, oh. The parliament changed. Well, there's one member of parliament right up the back there who, who said before the election, he's not actually here, uh, he, there was one member of parliament before the election who said, who said, I will support a carbon tax. Every other, and I accept the Prime Minister's whispering, um, um, every other member of this parliament went to the election ruling out a carbon tax. Every single member on this side ruled out a carbon tax. Every member on that side ruled out a carbon tax. And I say to the Prime Minister, by what tortured logic, by what bizarre arithmetic does one vote trump 149? Yeah, yeah.
This is truly the weirdest justification that we have ever seen, and the only explanation for the Prime Minister's backflip is that the real Prime Minister of this country is, in fact, Senator Bob Brown. Mr. Dep Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this is a Prime Minister who now has almost no credibility left. She has no credibility left. She has never seen a tax she didn't like. She has never seen a tax she wouldn't hike. This is a Prime Minister who has let down the Australian people Order. no more so than today. Order. The honourable member's time has expired.